Alrighty, so not too long ago, I asked the Discord if they had any special ideas or anything like that for uh, content or anything, or just anything that they wanted to see. And the one thing that I got that really stuck uh, was somebody was asking about a sort of guide for season three. And although I don't want to do like an entire guide because most of it is pretty straightforward, um, I did have quite a bit of trouble with the Light of Grace section, which there are two. Um, and it's basically just using Derriere and Monspy, and then this one has Gallant as well. So, um... These ones by far were the hardest ones for me specifically, just because the Archangels are just really hard to deal with. Um, but after, you know, the new special stages coming out and everything like that, I had some people comment, uh, specifically Ro, uh, who comments every so often, uh, and he was telling me that you basically just want to use Red Derriere and Green Monspeet because those are the better of the, you're like the best of the units. Um, I tried to do it a couple of times with blue derriere here and there, but it never really ended up working out. Um, so, I don't know, just looking at some of these other ones, they're really not all that difficult. Uh, the Elaine one was kind of kind of dumb. I remember using um, the, <laughs> I used the Christmas Elaine for this one just because it was, what I had the most powered up at the time. I think I would still like probably use this one. Uh, the only thing I can really say about this one specifically is that I I think I go for Jericho first because it's Jericho and Bond on this one. And although Bond does like extort you and stuff like that, Jericho's ult just ends up doing a lot of damage. So just making sure that I can try to stack as big of corrosion on with uh, the Christmas Elaine as I can helped a lot with that one. Um, the other ones, I mean, honestly, the, the Froudrun ones are kind of tough. There's even some Fraudrun ones over here in Labyrinth, I think, uh, where you have to use Fraudrun. Yeah, one of them right here. Fraudrun was pretty, pretty ridiculous just because Fraudrun himself is really not all that good. Um, but the green Fraudrun is actually halfway decent. And of course, you're not going to be able to get the sort of benefits from using blue Fraudrun. Um, so you want to use the green one and just, I mean, obviously... If it's hard, you just really have to like invest materials and stuff like that into the characters. Um, no, I don't think any of the characters that are in this uh, section, I have anything less than level 80. Um, and I mean, I have a couple of Super Awakening Stars here and there because obviously the big, the big three is you cannot lose a character, you must meet the CC requirement, and you must beat it within a certain amount of turns, uh, which can be really difficult. The um, In the Light of Grace section, the ones that I was doing, um, I this one was the hardest one because you go against three opponents specifically. Um, and my, <laughs> the people who commented were basically telling me that you want to use um, CC food, or not CC food, sorry, um, ultimate gauge food. So that way you can try to heal as much as possible, or what am I saying? I'm thinking about using Tarmiel Link while I'm trying to explain the food. But you want to use um, Ultimate Gauge food just so that way you can try to rush ultimates quickly. Um, obviously, it's not going to help like a ton because, you know, it's just one of those things where it, one Ultimate Gauge really isn't going to help you out ultimately. Um, I think I did swap around and mess with Ultimate Gauge food and Lifesteal food because another big problem that this stage has is that... Um, you know, if you can't keep your characters alive, you automatically lose a star, which in turn makes it to where you do not beat the stage. So uh, we're just gonna mess around with this one really quickly, try to see if I can get a good run going. Um, basically, it's just gonna be a little bit of RNG, which is kind of unfortunate. Normally on the uh, the reverse stages, it's not normally too RNG heavy, but the best thing that I can say is if you get decent RNG, that's actually pretty okay. Um, obviously, if you can get an extra one of the Derriere evasion cards, oh God, well, okay. I guess we'll see how this goes with using auto attack first. Uh, getting rid of Tarmiel is actually a really nice thing first because uh, the stance ends up getting in the way quite a bit. Um, another thing is you want to just keep using Derriere cards as much as possible so that way you can build up a lot of stacks so that way in turn the ultimate will end up doing a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, uh, ma making sure that you get a level 2 card of this to get the evasion from it is also really, really, really good. And of course, because we're using lifesteal food, I recommend just kind of, you know, throwing as many attacks as you can. I think I'm going to skip. I, I think we're going to take a lot of damage from um, Big Man there, uh, Ludo CL. But I think let's go for something like this to merge a, or a merge a card right there to help a lot or a little bit with uh, hand space. We should be able to one shot somebody with an ultimate here. 
I think I'll probably go for Sariel. Sariel ends up being uh, kind of a big hindrance because of uh, just his, you know, attacks. That is actually another big thing that's really, really dumb is that Ludo deletes cards with his cards. Uh, and if he deletes your ultimate, it just resets your entire gauge, which is just absolutely infuriating. So that's really dumb. Uh, Monspeed's still really good on HP. So let's just go for more attacks with Derriere. We've got decent stacks. So hopefully we kill here. We should. Um, and we'll also lifesteal back a decent amount of her HP. Um, the big thing for me on this one is that, you know, rushing the ult and stuff like that isn't normally too bad. But one of the big problems is making sure that you beat it within eight turns. And that's kind of where the RNG comes into place. Obviously, if he's deleting your ultimates and stuff like that out of your hand, it's going to slow your run down tremendously, which is very unfortunate. So... It's just kind of one of those things. Luckily, they're not really attacking Monspeed all that much. Normally, they attack Monspeed quite a bit, uh, which is why I normally give him Tarmiel Link at this point. Um, but it seems like we're actually getting halfway decent RNG here, as long as... As long as Ludo doesn't keep attacking and destroying ultimates out of my hand. So, yeah, Sariel is obviously a red unit, so he's going to try to target um, Monspeed, which can be a big issue. So this should lifesteal everything back. We're going to go ahead and throw that out just because we can. Monspeed's ultimate is okay. I don't really think that it ends up giving me, like, anything super crazy, which I think my Monspeed's, like, 4, 6, 5, 6. So getting those extra Ignite stacks can be really helpful. Uh, and I'm not going to hate on getting extra Ignite stacks, but um, the big problem is, is like, I mean, it, it's kind of helpful as far as uh, it cancels stances as well. So if you can get it early on and maybe use it to get rid of a Tarmiel stance or something like that, uh, it can be a little bit more beneficial. But I don't know. It's uh, if we can keep it here, you'll kind of see how much it does. Um, well, <laughs> unfortunate. But uh, yeah, so. Hopefully, ooh, really good RNG here. Really good RNG here. Um, I think we're just gonna double attack because we have so many attack buffs on at the moment. Yeah, and then we're gonna beat this. So uh, I think this was within eight runs. I'm not positive on that. We'll see right here at the end because it should still consider my stars and everything like that. So boom, bang, bam. And then yeah, check marks on all of those. So we were able to beat the CC requirement. We were able to beat it without anyone dying and we were able to beat it within eight turns. The only thing that I can really tell you for the gallon one uh, is that it's kind of nice. You have an extra card to use, but at the same time, you may want to reset a couple of times or just try your luck. And if it doesn't work out, just don't get frustrated with it because gallons, um, whatchamacallit, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember if, if it's his uh, commandment or his passive. I think it's his commandment. Uh, no, it's actually, it is as passive. So it has a uh, coerce. So I use the blue gallon just because I have it more powered up. Obviously red gallon doesn't have a whole lot of use besides just buffing red units, but, um, making sure that you get a decent coerce on the right unit, because you're only going against Sariel and Tarmiel in this one. Um, if you can get it to where you don't coerce, Sariel, so if you coerce Tarmiel, um, they won't burst your gallon down nearly as bad. Uh, and that was always my big issue was them just absolutely destroying Galland. So uh, yeah, making sure that you just sort of mess around with the RNG a little bit, that was definitely very helpful. So shout out to everybody who commented and let me know uh, sort of like better strategies and stuff like that for season three, because I, did, I didn't have this beaten for a really long time. If you're like me and you just kind of throw a couple of attempts at it here and there and it doesn't go well, so you don't really work on it anymore, um, uh, just just kind of trying to like alt rush and stuff like that with Derriere for the light of gray section is really really helpful but a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory like i said you just basically have to invest in some of the units which can be a big pain um honestly this esterosa fight was kind of annoying too because you have to go against so many people and just making sure that you have uh the counters and stuff like that you that you need going into the second phase is uh, kind of a big problem but uh yeah i don't know the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory so hopefully that helped a little bit i don't know i just feel like i I wanted to make a video on it because I was having a little bit of trouble and if I have trouble with something every now and then you know I hope that it can help somebody else who has trouble with it as well so that's pretty much it just a little bit of an extra video for you guys this week so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you have any sort of tips or tricks or anything like that for extra stages or just any of these stages uh, particularly so that way maybe it'll help somebody out in the comments if they're looking for that specific uh, specific stage or particular stage um, and yeah that's pretty much it for me so thanks so much feel free to subscribe if you haven't I'll see you guys in the next video